much they were shooting at me. <laughs> Is that my sticky leg? No, no, stop, I'm not ready yet. <laughs> back to the first Parsha, Parsha Breshi, we see we have the creation of the world and we have the creation of man. So now if we skip later on to this week's Parsha, Parsha Shemot, we have something interesting. We have the creation of B'nai Israel, where we say Ve'ele Shemot B'nai Israel, and we also have the birth of Moshe, someone who can rule over these people. So how, how did he become this leader? First we had his mother who saved him, who hid him for three months so that the Egyptians wouldn't drown him. She put him in his teva, in the teva, and she had him sitting by the Nile. Then we have another person who saved him from the Nile, Bat Paro. And not only did Bat Paro save him, but she also fed him. She also found someone to feed him. And how did she find this specific person, Moshe's mother, to feed him? We had Moshe's sister, Miriam, who brought Moshe to the, his mother, who would help feed him. So that's just the beginning of Moshe's life. That's how he survived. Later on, we have other significant stories that help him, helped him become a leader. We have the part where he stops the Mitzri from hitting the Jew, and he actually lands up killing the Mitzri. Later on, we have a very similar situation, but with two Jews fighting. In that same case, he, was, he's not even, he doesn't even know, so to speak, that he's Jewish. But what does he do? He stops the two Jews from fighting. He could also, in that case, move on and not save the Jew. But what does he do? He saves the Jew. And from that point on, he learns that they found out that he killed the Mitzri. And now the whole of Egypt is going to know. So he runs away all the way to Midian. One day, his sheep run away. He has to go after them. And what does he find? He finds a burning bush. So Moshe approaches it, and Hashem calls out to him. And he tells Moshe to take off his shoes, because he's on holy ground. So Moshe takes off his shoes, and Hashem asks him, to save the Jewish people from Egypt. But what does he say? He responds to God by saying, he's not worthy, he can't do this. But Hashem keeps on insisting three times over. He insists him to save the Jews. He see, we see from that point that Hashem has faith in Moshe because of the previous acts he had of saving the Jew from the mystery and saving the Jew from the other Jew. So we see his great leadership in there. But his leadership doesn't just stay with there. As we'll see later on in the Parshiot in Sefer Shmot, we'll see that he wasn't alone. He had Aaron and Miriam. So as we can see, even if you're born by yourself as a leader, doesn't mean your whole life will continue by yourself as a leader. You can't lead alone. You need partners and friends and companions to lead with you. I guess that's not a good ending. <laughs>